Anybody remember her? Yeah. Because why? Her name was? New. New. Is it her? No. New TV show? Newt Hunter? Can <laughs> you imagine, imagine this guy hunting for newts out in the, you know, whatever. Yeah. Right. It was really bad when I was doing this, trying to come up with things for humor. Or is it Scary Aliens? <laughs> <laughs> Who used the wrong finger? <coughs> You'll get the right finger here in a minute, I'm afraid. No, no, it's not, it's not Scary Alien either. No, it's not that. The Newt is stands for nut extended with turbo nut of course the uh, code name for melodic what do you want to see? Why? you're the expert on all things code names and past history so when i get a question like that i'm just going to refer to you the, the processor for them the 41 it's even the processor in the original voyager series all right but it is the nut that has been extended with additional functionality and a turbo mode. Now what you see up here is an original board uh, for the 41. This is the nut. And if you can tell, that's really not a photoshopped image. It is an actual running board. So I, I'm not by any means an expert on this. Monty is. But I read through the manuals, decided to summarize some things that seemed very important and interesting to me. And I communicated with him through email and finally a 20-something minute call where I was asking questions that weren't clear to me. I figure you know, I could just be kind of slow, but maybe some others might have a question like that too. So I thought at least my questions will be answered, and I can present you the answers to my questions. So, specifics. It is a replacement 41, uh, a CPU board for full nuts. For full nuts. Any type of full nut 41, whether that's a 41C, 41CV, or 41CX. It will not be a replacement for the half nut because it doesn't have this daughter CPU board. Okay, just like you saw on the previous page, right? It has to be a full nut HP 41. The best choice may be a 41C compared to a 41CV or 41CX because, uh, I'll go back, primarily because it will, the, the board once it's put in will give you all the functionality that's in a 41CX with one exception that I'll show on the next point. So when you have a 41C, you get all the extended functions and things like that through the replacement board. Where if you had a 41CX, you had those, you've got them, and eh, big deal. You just swapped one for the other. So you get an upgrade if you find an old 41C and replace it with this board. There is no timer crystal. It has the timer functions, but without timer functionality, you won't be able to set appointments or alarms. If you want that with this replacement CPU board upgraded machine, you will have to have a physical time module. So I can envision those going up in price on eBay. I've checked, so far the 15C has not plummeted in resale value on eBay, so you're doing a good job keeping all that quiet. <laughs> uh, you would then have a full normal and extended memory built in. With this replacement board, if you had a 41C, instead of the bare bones 63 registers, you'll have 319. Instead of no extended memory, you'll have the full complement of extended memory on the 41C that has been upgraded with the CPU board. It has a turbo mode that is user selectable to run at either 2, 5, 10, 20, or 50 times regular speed. Okay, and you can change that on the fly as it executes. It has built-in timer loops that will go back down to regular speed based on the uh, opcode that the processor is executing if need be. So pauses hopefully you know, will run properly. You won't have to be, oh, I crashed because I couldn't enter my fuel consumption. <laughs> it has one megabyte of onboard flash memory. One megabyte on the board. It has 200, therefore 256 pages for 4K ROM images. It comes preloaded with about 70 ROM images. Essentially, every ROM image known to man and woman, kind. Uh, is coming preloaded on the 41 replacement board. Everything that makes sense to load that would run. There's a couple of exceptions. But if you've always wanted to be able to at the fly plug and change the ROM configuration of your machine, this will have every one that's known to exist at the time the board is programmed. These <laughs> ROM images are assigned to virtually to the ports of the 41 device. <coughs> 
by typing in a four-letter code name for the module into alpha and executing new functions that show up in the catalog uh, that will tell it which port to plug it in and which level of the port, upper or lower uh, page of the port, if needed. So instead of if you've got this 4K ROM it taking up the whole full port, you can put in a 4K ROM up here in the top portion of the port, a 4K ROM in the bottom portion of the port, as long as you don't have any you know, conflicts. You fill her up with a few minor instructions. So a port extender might work. You will need a port extender. <coughs> well, if you've got two 4K ROMs, you want to be physically in one port, you're going to need another port. No. 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 These are virtual. There's no pull. You, all the ROMs will be sold on eBay by the time you get this. Because <laughs> you won't need any physical ROMs, perhaps ever again. Except for the time module. Rob, uh, see, Roger's already thinking, I'm going to buy them now. <laughs> if you wanted to print to IR, you would need that one as well. Will the functions in a plug-in ROM like the time module run as fast, I mean, correspondingly faster? Uh, with the uh, right. Right. I think when so you go back to the so <laughs> with, the question is, uh, I, I have, see there are some questions I have not asked Monty yet. <laughs> but he knows that the timer functionality requires a physical timer module, and so it would be very easy to make sure that we, he's pinged and said, hey, if I set an alarm and I'm in turbo mode, is this thing going to go off in 10 seconds instead of 6 hours? <laughs> yeah. Things like that. Yeah. yeah. The clock, things like that. So I, I don't know the answer to that. One. Is the quartz crystal <coughs> in the timer module? Yes. Yes. Okay, so that would be just have that timer module yeah. to have timer functions. If you don't need a timer module, then you don't ever have to plug anything in the port again, Richard. Um, we've already filled two ports, IR and time. What about HPI out in the one? There's your four. But since a printer. No, who needs a card reader? Um, well, there's, the, there's a port extension. Richard, you're trying to corner the market on port extenders. How many of those do you have at your house? Three, four. Uh, but the, the key is, though, you won't have to fill up any of the ports with application ROMs, perhaps, ever again. Okay, ever again. There are about 58 pages of 4K user RAM that still available. That are open. 236K total. He packs RAM images would be stored here. So if you load virtually the HePax ROM image and create a HePax RAM image and copy programs from main memory or a card reader or whatever of HPI into the main HP41. You can copy that to the HePax RAM area and using function in this module take that RAM page, put it over here somewhere inside the 41 board and let it sit there. It's all there you just it's a, it's a logic it's like a rom it's just a rom page a ram page sitting over here waiting for you later to take it and plug it into this location once again so you could create uh, 236k of your software have it floating in the ram pages on the board and load or detach those at will those are battery powered they stay there uh, until the batteries go dead and it's or changing the batteries do it quickly you know that kind of thing the flash ROM stays there, of course, but these RAM pages would go if you took the batteries out and, and went for a vacation for a week. You load new ROMs onto this board using some external device. And Peter and I were talking about this. If you have a no VRAM module, you could flash your no VRAM module with a new ROM. I mean, suppose Eric finally decides, you know, hey, I've got this ROM idea I've had for ages. He publishes it a week after you buy your replacement board. It's not preloaded because it just came out. Well, if you've got a no VRAM module, you can hook it up and load it onto that, plug it in, and copy it off, and then put it onto a, a page inside your replacement board. And in fact, I'm waiting until after everyone's bought this to release that ROM just to inconvenience everybody and having flesh. <laughs> well, just charge them some, some fee for it. Uh, or an MLDL device, you know, the MLDL 2000 device, or something. Or Send it to someone who can, you know, load things on it, something like that. But I mean, you're going to have you would have 70 to start off with. That's a lot. There is an onboard RS232 port, but there is no external physical connection for it. That can be fixed. It can be fixed. There is on many of these 41Cs a side area for an AC adapter. There are wires that could be connected that could come out of that, right? So there are possibilities. It does handle. RS-232 communication. I'm sorry, I was in cable, so 
<laughs> Use some of uh, Tim's cables. But as I say, there's no existing way for signals to really exit the case. You'll ha you would have to, at the moment, kind of jury rig it. Comes with an antenna. There, an oh, antenna. Wow. There is sound wow. output. Wow. There is sound <laughs> output. If you look up on the two pictures up here, the original, of course, has the circular bender. There's no bender on this board. But the connections for a bender are present on the board. So, uh, and I'm talking to Monty, you have a couple of options. One is that he, you, you buy the board, you open your machine, you disconnect the bender, and solder it to the replacement board, and then put it back in your machine. <laughs> Failing that, I think he would be willing for people who are all thumbs to offer a service where you send him the machine, he does the transfer and sends it back to you with the board already installed. Yeah, Roger. The, uh, the synthetic tones, uh, would they still be the same? Or like well, PPC Rob, they use a little short beats and things that work. It is it is supposed to work exactly like the original. If you're running it turbo, the tones all bets would be off. But uh, the ROMs that are written in uh, the assembly language execute the same way that they're supposed to. The PPC ROM routines execute the way they're supposed to with synthetic programming. <laughs> Register C still has that cold start constant, the 169 sitting there staring you in the face. It's exactly the same. I have not heard any tones, so I don't know if the Star Trek phaser strike routine, you know, in my Star Trek game that I like to play no, with, sound exactly the same. The whole tones would fly out the window the same way as so you would have like yeah. a turbo. Maybe, maybe, maybe four, four or ten times. Yeah, I think it's four times. It's like, it's likely than the real one. But if you run it at normal speed, it should sound the same. I was thinking. Yeah. I was going to say, what, a, what an unfortunate name. Not a testosterone. New. Death Nuts 3000 Tim Taylor edition. <laughs> well, he hasn't he hasn't he hasn't published anything that's New? unchangeable yeah, at this point. Yeah, nothing else works. Yeah. Um, right. And so I say you can either cut yeah. solder the existing bender, or he may offer boards with the benders already attached. He said he has a source for some of the benders, so maybe, I don't know for something extra. He sends you a board already has the bender on it, or some kind of a send it in, change it, send it back. There are some issues that are experienced with takeover ROMs. I had noticed in the list of ROMs that he was going to load that the fourth ROM wasn't there if you really want to turn your machine into a fourth machine. Because the fourth ROM lives at a page where it takes over the machine, that interferes with how the new and its functions operate. So there are some issues with potential takeover ROMs. The service ROM might be another one. You can do it, but you really have to know what you're doing. And you know, it's just you want to stay away from those for most purposes. He said it's doable, but he really didn't sound very enthusiastic about it. Yes. If the forty one C if the forty one C L somehow loses its memory, are this extended memory gonna lose its uh, information as well or is it separate? The extended memory yeah. or the reason the RAM pages don't add up to the total is because some of that is taken already. The extended memory is stored not in flash, I don't believe, but in the RAM. Just like the main RAM of the, the forty one is in RAM. And so if you take you want to be able to clear the memory by taking the batteries out overnight, perhaps. And so extended memory would go that same same direction. What about the extended RAM where all the other uh, ROM images are stored? The ROM images wouldn't go anywhere because that's flash. Okay. But the RAM itself would go. Now there are utilities that can copy <coughs> extended memory on, you know, on and out. You can. I think there are things that you can copy that to the RAM space and heat packs. And you know, we were talking about other ways of maybe taking that stuff and copying it over. Monty really hopes somebody to develop a nice file system to run all this thing with all that memory. Well, yeah, memory loss, I guess it wouldn't clear the RAM banks that you haven't switched in. That's right. Well, uh, per, uh, memory loss would not clear them, yeah. but power loss would. You're right. I mean, zero store C wouldn't wouldn't kill off all the, the memory pages that are not <laughs> Um Pricing, he told me about $250, uh, but the question is, you know, how many units is he going to sell? Uh, I don't know how you know that. Buy one. I, let me ask this. How many of you have a no VRAM? The plug-in module. There are three of, three of us. Is, uh, Richard, you have a no VRAM? I think so. <laughs> you bought it in the last year and a half? No. Okay, two years, roughly, something like that. It's about as long as it's been out. Okay. So there, so there are three of us. And that's roughly... MLDL. You got an MLDL 2000 or just a, a different version of it? Okay. Uh, I know that uh, Egan, who was here last year, has several of these kind of things.